Hi, I'm Katie. I'm a wife and a mom and a stepmom and a photographer and a writer and a homeschool teacher and I love Jesus and I love my life. And... Babe! Okay, so I am about to make banana bread. Why? Hold on. Bananas have two types of life in this house. No one will eat them because they're overripe. No one will eat them because they're underripe. Guess what kind of bananas ever get eaten in this house? Banana bread. While I enjoy banana bread, and everyone in this house loves banana bread, I find myself in a pickle. Like, does this happen to anybody else where you, you're like, oh, we're out of bananas, need bananas, get the bananas, green bananas. Then it's like, okay, we have bananas, let's wait for them to be ripe, and they're ripe for like a day and a half. And during that time, nobody wants a banana. Then you end up with this nasty looking banana that everyone would scream about if I tried to make them eat it. I don't know what the solution is. Stop buying bananas, maybe? The other real challenge here is that my daughter, Emily, has very severe food allergies, particularly to eggs and nuts. Peanuts, tree nuts, eggs, cats, dogs, pretty much all of life. But um, one thing that I've found is best for baking, especially for egg replacer, is something called aquafaba, and all it is is the juice that comes out of canned garbanzo beans. Sounds really nasty, it smells it kind of smells like eggs. It doesn't smell great, but it it mimics the protein of eggs really, really well. So it's three tablespoons per egg. So this recipe calls for two eggs, so I'm putting six tablespoons of aquafaba. Sounds really fancy, but it's really just bean juice. We'll bean juice it up. Mmm. Honey. Honey. Honey, honey. It's like liquid gold. I put honey in my coffee, so kind of don't feel great about using this much in banana bread right now. Need to make sure I have enough for my coffee. Okay, now we add salt. I think it says a teaspoon. Salt. Oh no. Said a half. I did a whole. Well, can I get some out? Oh boy. Oh gosh. Oh. One and a quarter teaspoons baking soda. Let's not screw this up. Also just realized that I totally forgot to put butter, which is like a pretty important ingredient. So, so far I'm crushing it. Now the flour. We add the last ingredient. A little extra salt, never hurt anyone. So I have greased and floured a bun pan. Sometimes I make it in muffins, but usually it's in a boont. And the girls don't know I was baking. So I get to lick the spoon. So, while the banana bread is baking, I just wanted to address one second of uh, a PSA for kids with food allergies. It has really been challenging to find solutions and it's really hard for her to have a normal life, to go to birthday parties and enjoy a piece of cake with her friends. Like, she can't do that. So, this is my little soapbox for kids with food allergies. Stay strong, try the bean juice. Maybe guess what I made? What? Banana bread. <laughs> I could say.
say this was scripted. This is just like three, two, one. I'm scared. Why? <laughs> you told us not to eat and how you're recording. <laughs> how is it? Oh, okay. Oh, it's really good. I love it. Does it taste different? Mm -mm. Oh, good. Not really. I forgot cinnamon and vanilla, and I put too much salt. Okay. But it tastes alright? Yeah, yeah. It tastes so good. Success! Yeah.